Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Helen bralette. This was one of the first patterns that I wrote myself and I'm really excited to share it with you so let's get started. You will need 100% cotton yarn. I used the Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. It's a weight 4 yarn. You can use whatever yarn you want. I just wanted to use this one. You will also need a 5mm hook, a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and also a measuring tape. First you will make a slip knot. and then chain 12. then single crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then you will place one single crochet into each stitch until the end. Once you reach the end, you will chain one and turn your work. Place a single crochet into the very first stitch. and then place one single crochet into the next nine stitches. So now your work should look like this. And instead of chaining one and turning like you normally would, we're just going to turn our work vertically. And then we will place three single crochets into the chain two space here. It might be hard to find, but just kind of make a little hole and then place your three single crochets into that. Once you have your three single crochets, you're going to turn to work onto the other side and place one single crochet into each stitch until the end.
once you reach the end, you should have something that looks like this. So it's straight on the sides, and then you have your three single crochet increase at the top. And now you will chain one and turn. Place one single crochet into that very first stitch, and then continue doing that until you reach the middle stitch of your three single crochet increase. So that would be your second stitch. Once you've reached that middle stitch, you'll place three single crochets into that stitch. And then you will continue placing one single crochet into each stitch until the end. So now you can see that your work is starting to look a little bit like this and you're just going to continue the same pattern. You'll chain one, single crochet up, single crochet three, single crochet down, and then chain one, turn and go back and forth until you get your desired size. And if this is too fast for you, I can link my how to crochet bralette cups tutorial and that should help out. But once you finish that, it should look like this and then you'll just repeat those same steps to make a second cup and then make sure to fasten off on each end. So now to make the band, you're going to need to measure yourself under your bust from shoulder blade to shoulder blade. I like to make sure I have between like two and a half to three inches of a gap in the back so that's why I do it from shoulder blade to shoulder blade but take your measurement and then you're going to make a chain that is that long when making your chain make sure that it's in multiples of three plus one that one is going to be your turning chain but it's very important that you have it in multiples of three so that we can make our bobbles the correct way Once you make your chain however long you need, you're going to place a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then you will place one single crochet into each stitch until the end. Once you reach the end, you should have your first single crochet row done, and then you're going to just chain one and turn your work. Place one single crochet into each stitch until the end, and do this for as many rows as you want. I did about five rows, but go ahead and do that and then we'll meet back to work on the bobbles. Once you've done your rows, you'll just chain one and turn. So now you will skip one stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. The one that you're skipping is the one that's connected to your chain one. So skip that and then go into the second stitch with the single crochet.
Now you will chain six. Now we will be working into the third chain from the hook. So you will yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain from the hook, yarn over, and pull through. You should have three loops on the hook. Then you will yarn over and pull through two. And now you have two loops on the hook. So you'll continue doing that until you have five loops on the hook. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. And now you have five loops on the hook. And now you will yarn over and pull through all five loops. Now chain three. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Now you have five loops on the hook. Now yarn over and pull through all five loops. Now chain one and pull the loop so that it's a lot looser and remove your hook. And now you have your two parts to your bobble. So now we're gonna connect them together. To do that, we're going to insert our hook into that stitch that's connected to the first part of the bobble, and we're going to insert the hook through the back and bring it towards the front. Once you've done that, you're going to take your loop and place it back onto your hook and then tighten it. Once you've done that, pull that loop through the stitch. And then you will flip your bobble over and chain three.
so now your bobble looks like this and we're going to reattach it so we're going to skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch So now you have your first bobble and you're just going to continue doing the same sequence all the way until the end until you have one stitch left. So you'll chain six. And then you will yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain from the hook. And then yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. Chain three, yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all five loops, and then chain one and pull that loop to be loose. Remove your hook and insert your hook into the stitch attached to the very first cluster and insert it through the back. Place your loop back onto your hook and tighten it. And then pull through. Flip your bobble over. Chain three. And then skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. And then you will repeat this until you get to the very end, making sure that you have one stitch left unfinished.
Once you reach the end, you'll just place one single crochet into that very last stitch. And now we will work on the corset back. So first, you will chain one and single crochet into that same stitch but along the short side. You will place one single crochet into each stitch until the end. It doesn't matter if you end up with an even amount of stitches or an odd number. I'll give you instructions on how to do the next row for either one. But just place one single crochet into each stitch until the end. And they're not any like definite stitches, just kind of go one per row. So if you've ended up with an even amount of stitches, like right here I'm doing my 6th stitch, this is what you'll do for the next row. You will chain 3, and turn your work. And then you will skip the first 2 stitches. So you'll skip that stitch that's attached to your chain 3 and the stitch right after and then you'll single crochet into the third stitch. And then chain 2, skip 1 stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip one stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. And you'll keep doing that until you get to the end. And then you will cut your yarn and fasten off. So now I will show you what to do if you have an odd number of stitches. So now I have five stitches and you'll do the same thing as last time. You'll just chain three and turn your work. And then you'll skip one stitch and it's the stitch that's attached to your chain three. Skip that stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. And then chain two. Skip one stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain two. Skip one stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. And you'll do that until the very end. And then again, you will cut your yarn and fasten off. So once you've done one side, you'll do the same thing on the other. And make sure to attach your yarn on the other side to the same side that your bobbles are on. So you'll see your chain three right there and then your single crochet right next to it. And that's where you're going to attach your yarn. So I just insert my hook and pull my yarn through. And then I make a knot. And then I insert my hook, I pull up a loop, and then do my chain one, and I do the same thing that I did on the other side. Make sure you do the same amount of stitches, 
and then again at the end you'll fasten off. Once you've finished both sides and you've fastened off, now we're going to be attaching the cups to your band. So first you'll need to find the middle stitch of your band, so just fold over your band And then you'll see that middle stitch and go ahead and place a stitch marker or I just placed another piece of yarn, but place it right there so that you don't lose it. And this middle stitch will determine where we're going to put our cuffs. So now you can map out where your bralette cuffs are going to go. I placed mine about one stitch away from the middle stitch, but I wish I had done two stitches. But just map it out, see where you like it, and then we will be whip stitching the cup to the band. So you'll go ahead and take your darning needle and attach your yarn to it, and then cut a piece of yarn that's long enough to stitch both cups. Now go ahead and place your cup and your band together. Line up the stitches the best that you can. And then place your needle through the stitch. Pull your yarn through and then just make a knot. And now place your needle through that same stitch and into the first stitch on your bralette cup. And then pull it all the way through. And then you'll go into the next stitch and find the corresponding stitch on the cup. Insert your needle and pull it all the way through. And you'll continue doing that same thing all the way until the end. Once you reach the end, you'll just pull that last one through. And then to secure it, I just go into the next stitch and then I go back into the same stitch on the cup. And then I place my needle through the loop. And then I pull it to make a knot. Once you've pulled it tight, you can cut your excess yarn. I leave a little bit of extra so I can weave it in at the end. So now your cup is attached and you'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other cup. Once you have both cups attached, we're going to work on the straps. So in order to do that, you'll find your three single crochets on your cup and you'll find that middle stitch. So it'll be the second stitch of your three single crochets. You'll insert your hook and attach your yarn.
once you've attached your yarn, you'll just insert your hook into that same stitch. And then pull up a loop and then make a chain however long you need it to be. I did about 83 stitches. Once you've made your chain long enough, go ahead and cut a long piece of yarn. And I'll go ahead and show you how I finish off my straps. So I cut my yarn and then I pull it through and I tighten it. And then I just take the last few stitches that are on the chain and I make a knot. Once I've pulled that tight, I do it one more time. And then I just cut the excess yarn. And that's how I like to finish off my straps. I think that it looks a lot nicer than just leaving a little bit of a, of a tail. And then you'll just repeat the same process for the other cup. You'll attach your yarn, make your chain, and then finish it off. Once you've done all that, you'll need to make your back strap for the corset style tie up on the back. So you'll just make a chain that's pretty long. Um, I would suggest between 200 to 400 chains, depending on your size. I'm more of a size small medium and I did 280 uh, chains, but it was just a little bit too long. So I wish I had done like 220, but make it However long you want, it's better to have more than not enough. So do that and then you can finish off the same way you did your neck straps with that little knot on the end and you'll be done. You'll just have to weave in all your ends on your bralette. So like I said, you can finish off the same way that I did with the knots on the end, cut that excess yarn, and then all, all the parts to your bralette are done. So you can just weave in your ends and then it's all finished. And I really hope that you guys liked this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.